Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Zepho mock update video. It's been a long time since the last one. I apologize, school has been ridiculously busy and I haven't had a ton of time to make videos. So this episode is more of a catch-up episode where I go through some of the progress that I've been making over the past month or so and I get you guys caught back up and I kind of get back into the swing of things and prepare to move on to the rest of the series once this semester is over for me here in a couple of weeks. So I apologize for the lack of uploads recently, but I'm trying to get caught back up here. So a decent amount of progress in this episode, all things considered. And without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so this is going to be a little bit different of an episode. As you can see, I did get a lot of progress done. But normally, if you guys are new to the series, um, Normally what I do is I'll pick out an objective for an episode and I'll start from scratch and kind of show you guys an update on each step as I go along throughout the whole building process. But it's been so long since I've been able to actually record anything. Just anytime I've had time to work on something throughout the semester here, I've just kind of worked on it and haven't really documented it. So this episode right here is just going to be kind of a run through of everything that I've gotten done over the past few months here. So this is not how I normally do my videos, as a lot of you guys know, but it is a little bit different today because uh, I just haven't been able to get a video out in so long and I really apologize for that. School has been so ridiculously busy and I haven't had much time to really do much in terms of building or making videos. So I've done a lot of this progress here uh, over Thanksgiving break. So essentially I'm just gonna run through everything that I got done. And uh, yeah, next episode will be a return to normal uh, where I will actually start from kind of scratch and show you guys my normal update progress and we'll talk a little bit hopefully about that later at the end of the video. But I'm going to go ahead and go over everything that I got done and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so last episode you guys saw that I worked on the bunker up here and I got a lot of great feedback on that so I was very excited about that. I had a ton of fun designing this bunker. so. Thank you guys so much for that. So that's pretty much what I had done last episode. Now what I've done since then is start to work on a lot of this interior right here. So if you recall from the previous episodes, uh, it has been a while, but essentially the plan is to have a lot of this underground stuff right here along with the ice caves in here. So we have the ice caves and the imperial kind of uh, dig site down here, I believe is what it's called. And then on top of that will be the rest of the actual imperial headquarters and the rest of the mock. So what I've done here is start to build the entrance for the Imperial dig site down here. And then I have built this wall right here. So this is going to be the plan right now is this is the height that the actual mock will start and maybe a couple bricks lower, but I think this will be the height. So of where the rest of the mock will be. So on top of this will be the actual Imperial headquarters and then you'll go across the mock into the village and everything like that, all the terrain and everything till we get to the landing pad on the other side there with the mantis and everything like that. So essentially, here's what I've got so far. I worked on this entrance right here. Um, nothing too crazy. One thing that I do want to do is actually um, remove some of this and make and add some greebling because right now it's just all kind of dark uh, gray and way too bland in my opinion. So I do want to add some greebling to the top, but I am actually really happy with the shape of it. I think it's an interesting and unique shape that I haven't really done or seen before with a lot of these slopes to kind of make it look like an interesting entrance right there. I also need to build up the mountain. Uh, the rock work to match that height so I can level it all off and start on the next set there with the Imperial Headquarters on top of it. But down here, here's kind of the entrance. Uh, nothing too crazy, some more of the terrain colors that I've been using throughout the mock. And then I've got some interesting slope work going on and tile work and stuff like that to kind of give it an interesting look on the floor there as we lead into the kind of hallways down there. Another thing with this wall right here, I want to get rid of this and add perhaps another hallway or another secret room or something in there uh, because this is way too flat and gray. So I do want to add a room or a secret, I don't know, a secret entrance or just some sort of Easter egg room. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Otherwise, I might add on the map, uh, in the back side of the map on Zepho, there seems to be these like giant red panel like metal pieces that are kind of like in a bunch of rows throughout the back of the base. I may add that on here. Another thing I want to do is maybe add in some of those pod things. I'll try to put a screenshot on screen right now. You see them in Rogue One on Edu as well. So I kind of want to possibly add those or like these red uh, plate things that you see on the map. Not really too sure yet what to do with this area, so let me know, but it will not stay this just dark gray blob. That'll change for sure. Don't worry about that. This part in here is not finished yet. This is just the floor design that I have been working on here. I wanted to add some different colors in here because I have way too much dark gray in this bottom section. Same when we get up top to the rest of the headquarters, just too much dark gray. So I wanna add in some different colors. I still need to do a wall design on this side and on these sides right 
it here, but here's what I've got so far for that. All right, so this is the main thing that I was working on for the past couple of times I've been home here. Put a screenshot on screen for what exactly I was trying to replicate right here. So I've got this kind of walkway right here. You can see the design that I've went with some more of those grill pieces. And I actually use some jumper plates as well right down there to do some offsetting for some tiles just to add an interesting look to it to try to make it a little bit different than stuff that I've done before. But here is kind of the view from the screenshot. Kind of go down here. Uh, you can kind of look through here and you'll be able to see Cal right there on this walkway. And you'll be able to see some uh, Imperial control rooms and stuff on the backside right there. So when you're at the convention uh, at Brick Road Chicago, I wanted to have there be lots of, you know, tunnels and hallways and stuff like that for everyone to look through at kind of eye level on the mock. So you'd be able to pull out kind of over here and this is kind of be where the public is at and you'd be able to look and see all the way through the tunnel right there in the hallways all the way to the back there where those Imperial officers are at in that kind of mini control room. And I'll be able to get some cool angles down in here as well. And nothing really too crazy on the design for these kind of Imperial hallways right there. I wanted to go with something again different than dark gray, so I kind of looked at the Death Star and stuff like that and went with more of a black and white pattern. Uh, I've also got the wall design right there. That's nothing new. Lots of people have done this type of design to make it look like those lights that you see on the Death Star and Star Destroyer and all a bunch of Imperial um, facilities and stuff. Those kind of like white lights that seem to come out of the wall. So I've got that right there. And I've actually also set up some lights, so I'll turn those on in a moment. But Here's an interesting design that I did for this kind of section right here, having some angles that you'll hopefully recognize from all sorts of Imperial Star Destroyers and stuff like that. The windows that they have, I tried to get that design going right there. I've also got some interesting slope stuff going on right there, uh, just so it's not such a plain flat wall. Down here, if you have played the game, I wanted to add something recognizable for people that play the game. So I put a bunch of vine pieces um, like you would climb in the game with Cal to try to get to all these different locations where you'd have to climb through these vines and everything like that to get up to higher places. So I thought that would be cool. Since you're looking through kind of from far away, you're not gonna see a lot of the stuff back here. So that's why only like half of it is tiled off black. So it kind of looks like it falls into the abyss down there. I also have some just random rock pieces in there as well. So you'll kind of see them sticking out when you look through the hallway itself. Uh, this wall is temporary as well. I just wanted to put this up to kind of show you guys what it will look like as well as for myself when I was building, when I'm, because it's hard to know because the, the odd, like when you see this at the convention, it's not going to be from this angle. It'll be from a different perspective. So I had to put this up to kind of figure out what are you going to see and what are you not going to see through the actual tunnel itself. But here's kind of an overview of this area. This was the main thing that I worked on. This little walkway right here where Cal is at and the Imperial officer. And then as well as this section down here, uh, kind of an Imperial hallway, which was so much fun to design. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun working on the Imperial stuff. And here's what I've got for lights. I started to set up a couple lights in here because I really wanted to do a lot more stuff with lighting for this mock, especially since you're gonna be looking through all these little interesting views and kind of angles. Really wanted to get some lights going. So I think this section really looks cool with the lights. You can see more of the Imperials back there with the wall design that I've got going in the back of the control area, as well as over here. I think it looks really, really cool, especially if I step back here and you kind of look through, I'll call it the audience perspective. I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, excited with how it's turning out so far. Obviously a lot more work to do on this section. Like I said, I got to finish up the wall design, uh, kind of everything in here. I need to build the walls on all these sides to cover it out. So then when you look through this angle, this will all be covered. So you won't really see any of this mess or anything like that. But I think for now, I'm gonna leave the rest of this section like over here and the walkway right here. I think I'll just leave that be for now because I need to start working on a lot of the other areas of the mock itself. Because when we step back here through the rest of the mock, first thing that I needed to work on was the whole bottom section because I needed to work on the bottom section so I could build on top of the actual mock. Again, right here is the height where I think the mock will actually start. I may need to lower that <laughs> a couple of bricks for resources sake, but I wanted it to be as tall as kind of this bottom part right here. So with this section kind of almost done, um, I now can move on to finishing the ice caves. So if you recall from a couple episodes ago, I did this kind of first ice cave. Now I need to do a second one kind of in this area right here to be a little bigger than this one. So that'll be what I'll work on for next episode. I'll work on the ice cave right there and hopefully touch up a few things here and there for this section right here. So then I'll have the whole bottom part complete, which will be a huge help because then I can start to work on the superstructure that's gonna be inside of this mock. 
because since it's being built up so high, I need a lot of filler brick. It needs to be very sturdy for transportation, and it needs to be sturdy so I can build on top of it uh, when I'm doing the village and the rest of the Imperial headquarters. And of course, uh, a couple episodes ago, I showed you guys the landing pad that I worked on, so that will go kind of out over here once I kind of get all this complete, but that's a couple episodes away. Right now I need to focus on finishing the ice cave, making sure that looks really good, and touching up this right here, and then after that I'll be able to start to get into the, really the meat and potatoes, um, as you will, of this then I'll be able to get into the real uh, fun part of this mock, which is the village itself, which I'm really excited about, and the Imperial Headquarters. I am so excited. I'm so excited to see the landing pad once I'm able to actually get it set up because that's been my favorite part that I've done so far. So I'm just trying to get through this stuff. And again, I apologize for not having videos out for like the past month. I just haven't had a lot of time to do that. I've got lots of school stuff going on, as well as a bunch of like side film projects that I've been working on. but. Over these past couple days of Thanksgiving break, I've been working so hard to try to finish some stuff up uh, and make sure I have enough stuff to make a video for. So I'm really happy with the progress that I got done over break here, but obviously a lot of work left to do. So there'll be this video, and then once Christmas break comes around in a few weeks, and once finals are done for the semester, I'll be able to really make some progress on this mock. And I'm really starting to have fun with the, the, the build now. Uh, the Imperial Hallway stuff, I was really looking forward to, and that's something I hadn't really done before. So it's been really fun starting to work on that. Um, and the thing about, I was spending a lot of time in this hallway, and it's, it's good to kind of prototype a bunch of different designs because uh, not that this is like not as important, but the stuff on top of this, like the main Imperial Headquarters will be a lot more visible and need to be a lot more detail oriented and look really, really good. So it was good to practice kind of on this bottom area right here with what type of designs I like, what type of workflow was good for working on these kind of Imperial facility hallways and walls and stuff like that. Lots of cool, interesting designs that I've been messing around with. That'll be it for this video and we'll go ahead and move on to the outro. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. Had a lot of fun working on this section of the block with the Imperial Hallway, something I've been looking forward to for a really long time, which makes me even more excited to finish up the bottom half of the mock with the rest of the ice cave so I can get to work on the Imperial Headquarters on top of what I've built right now, and that's kind of the main part of the mock. So I'm really excited for that, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the progress in this episode. As always, leave a feedback in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great day, and may the Force be with you always.